the rain is coming because that's my luck. How can I spend my day better than outside with the van in rain and testing my new I don't know how it's called that in English but basically I thought I can put it here on the van of the two sides and one side on that tree and other side on this tree so I will have like a tent or something connected to my van so it looks like the rain doesn't come here overall so I'm going for a small walk to check out maybe I can find some better places where I could camp because here I'm right beside the street and here are people walking the dogs and horses and all the stuff so I want to be a little bit more isolated so I'm just walking upside of this road because here stays that you can't normally go inside with a car but who cares if I find a good spot I will drive anyway I was looking for a spot where I can park and camp but meanwhile I got distracted with the photography because in the forest there's just so much to take photo about everywhere where you point the camera it's just a good photo I love it I mean this corner will be a nice spot I can park here in the corner and I'm not in the way I'm right in the intersection but nobody drives here the rain might come back so I might get soaked there is a small plantation of pine I'm not sure but I think these when will grow bigger they will be for holidays for Christmas to cut down I wonder if a deer or something would run here you see there are cut down trees but the good part is that on this side is new plantation of the trees so it kind of balanced the bad and the good go further away I still hear in the traffic kind of annoying but it's strange because you have all this road inside the forest where I get why you should not drive and it's illegal to drive because overall it's not a highway but on the other hand if you are camping I think you should be allowed to drive in because basically you you don't doing anything wrong you see that plant growing up on the tree you know how toxic this plants are they basically growing up on the tree taking all the sunlight and minerals and vitamins and what whatever the tree needs and then the tree ends up dying and look closely look closely at like that one it's full with that plant and doesn't take long till the tree will be dead and I just see that almost every tree has them and almost every tree which has them it's dead. What a toxic plant. So let's talk why someone would choose this type of life over comfortable life in an apartment or something. From my experience starting out, I wasn't like that when I was a kid. I didn't even know such thing exists. I think the whole thing shifted when I moved from Romania to Germany and I was left kinda without friends because after we finished high school almost all my friends went somewhere in Europe I finished high school in Romania and after that like 80% of my friends of my friends group went in France, Germany, England, whatever and we kinda split up and me arriving in Germany after right after graduating high school I know nobody here in Germany I was going from one shitty workplace to another and this experience kind of shifted something in me like like I became more introvert I guess but it's not like I'm not I don't like being around people it's just I don't like being around all the people I like really choosing because if we if we go to know each other and we kind of vibe we have the same interest I can be very social but when I'm just meeting a new group of people like when I'm when I'm switching workplaces or something it's very awkward for me because I can't just be that extrovert guy who 
get along with all the people. So the moving experience from Romania to Germany kind of switched this thing on me where I become more antisocial and introvert I guess and I think that's when I found on YouTube this type of life, the van life. I think the first couple videos I saw was Amon and Beck and Nathan Kara. I I'm sure you know who they are. And seeing those videos, they just travel in a van, they having the best life. Of course, it it comes with ups and downs because things are getting broke in the van and you have to deal with some problems, of course, but let's be serious, you have more problems when you stay in an apartment or even a house so it, it's nothing it's problem free but i guess you have to choose your problems with what you want to deal with beside the point meet my friend walter it's interesting because last days i started to watch breaking bad and then i saw that on my ex st stays walter so this is my new friend walter so where I was, oh yeah, oh I can remember even when I was a kid I was really towards being in nature. I remember I went many times fishing with my dad and even with, I had a friend, we just took our bikes to fishing roads and went to a nearby lake back in Romania for like three days without no food, just water and we we were eating what we catched. It was an experience because we were like 13, 14 years old and we had to learn very quickly how to cook a fish <laughs> because that was all what we can eat those three, four days. These are nice memories back in the days. But now I'm forced to do those things alone because let's face it, in Germany not many people are interested in such things. Good news is that in a couple days end of this month I will go on a road trip back in Romania it will be like 3000 kilometers back in Romania and in back here after that and I have some very nice places to visit so if you are interested hope that will go make sure you subscribe and we see each other there so back to the point I was making after seven years being in Germany I kind of get used to it to be alone and now I'm really enjoying being alone I don't want to be with anyone I had a pretty big breakup last year so now I'm done with that too and I think this chapter on my life with the van will be a pretty big one and a pretty big change for me because I was planning this type of life for like two years now but unfortunately I had no money to buy a van and last year i don't really make like new year resolutions and stuff but last year i wrote down a couple things i have to do this year to be fulfilled i said to myself let's give it a try let's see how it works and between those things were pay off my debt for my car quit my job buy a van and start this new lifestyle and it's almost end of april and i paid off my car I stole it right away because it was a waste of money which nobody told me back when I bought it. I quit my job end of February I think and now I got the van. So I can say that this year started pretty well for me and hopefully it will stay the same. It's getting dark and I'm kinda hungry so, so let's go grab some food and prepare for the night.